Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna go through this uh, decode 973 play closest one to the origin. So, uh, we are given a list of points. So, let's see in here one, three, and negative two and two. And uh, we need to calculate the utility and distance to the origin. So, we have this form over here. So, basically, we square, we square both the x uh, and y and then sum it and take the square root of it. And then to see uh, which one's the lowest. Uh, I mean, um, we need to find the k closest point. So uh, we can need to find the uh, the k lowest point to the origin. So, uh, for example, in here, uh, the first point, the distance is a square root of ten. The second point is a square root of eight. And in this case, we need to find uh, the 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 closest point because k is only one however if k was two that means we need to return like two closest point will be in this case will be both the points and um yeah so that's one example and another one is um uh, and three three five negative one negative two and four and um so a case equal to two, so we need to find the two closest point. And after we take the square, uh, squares, sum of squares, and then take a square root of it, and you can find that this, this both two point are the, uh, the closer to the origin than uh, this guy over here. So, and this question was uh, asked by Facebook, Amazon, and also other big names. Um, so here is my solution, and as you can see, uh, I mean, one brute force way to do it would be uh, short, short the distance, and then just take the first k uh, points after sorting, right? So, and that uh, the that that time complexity will be uh, uh, n of n log n because uh, the sorting uh, really takes up that much time. Uh, so, as you can see, it's not really efficient. Um, we a slightly more efficient way is to use the uh, mean heap. So the way to do it is uh, because mean heap, uh, this heapify operation takes a big O of one. And each time when we pop it off uh, one element at the top, and that takes a uh, log n, and we, ne we need only need k points. So uh, for this operation entirely, it only takes like uh, big O k times log n. Because uh, this one again, uh, this one takes a big O of one, and then this guy takes a big O of um, log n, and we do it. We do it k times. So it takes k times log n for it for for um, for using mean half. I um, mean here, sorry. So. Uh, Let's walk through the code together. We need to import this heap, heap queue and we need a temporary on list. And then we basically do in the square. Uh, so sum of square, sum of squares, uh, squaring the X and also squaring the Y and then sum of it. And uh, I mean, we can take the square root of it as well, but it doesn't matter because we will, um, because the sorting is based on uh, this one, I mean, uh, a number, is big after square root will be, I mean, a number is big before the square root will be big number also after square root. So the square root does not change anything. That's why we don't, we don't need to square root it uh, after we sum it. So, and then um, we append it to the time list and then, and this is the result and also this is the original point. And then we do a hippify and then we need the answer. And then we run this while loop k times because we only need k points. And each time we pop it off, the minimum value each time. So uh, let's run it. And as you can see, it's pretty efficient. And um, yeah, so for space complexity, we need a tem temporary uh, list. I mean, we can do this here in place if we really want to. And that can save a little bit of space. And uh, also, um, so that takes a big of n, uh, n being the number of points. And also, we need an answer uh, list, and that takes a 
big of K for space. And uh, yeah, so that's so much for my solution. I hope you like it. If you do, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.